What interested me was the very subtle but harmful message that the issue of federal debt sends to young people. And that message is the things that you care about don't matter. Your future, the country that you're going to live in does not matter. And we don't really care what you think. And I think that's a really harmful message to send to young people because it creates a sense of apathy and disengagement and just general resentment when it comes to governmental institutions to when they are then part of the people who run our country, that vicious cycle continues. And so I wanted to become part of this competition and raise my hand and say, I own this. This is my problem and I'm gonna be part of the solution. And I think when you engage young people and show them that they can change and they can have a voice and people are listening to them, that you stop that cycle and you really can start talking about long-term solutions to a very difficult problem. Isn't it around a billion? No, it was Obama lower. Ten. Eleven. What, actual amount? Total amount. Total yeah. amount. I think around 16 to 17 trillion dollars. Ten trillion? I, I know it's it's in the for the trillions. It's in the high trillions, we're just not using it wisely. Can you guess a number? I'm gonna say uh, 15 trillion? Don't know. I'm not sure. 13. Got it. <laughs> trillion. <laughs> yes. It's about 17 trillion dollars and rising. Okay. I have no idea. It's 17.4 trillion dollars. Oh. oh my god, really? Um, well, as idealist as it sounds, I would eradicate homelessness. Uh, not only in our well, the fact that we have homelessness. definitely would be up there as well, reforming the education system. A lot of foreign aid. Business startups. Yeah. Um, educate people more, get them more in the mindset, not the career, but innovation, how to bring new things with us. I believe it was Thomas Jefferson that said, two ways to enslave a country are by, is one by sword and two is by debt. So essentially, we are enslaved to our debtors. Um, so ultimately, debt being the largest economy in the world, having that big of debt is not a good thing. Oh, jeez, how does it not? I mean, it doesn't. It's not something that's necessarily immediate prevalent. Prevalent. It's not like you would, you know, spend nights not sleeping because of it. But I mean, it trickles down uh, profoundly as far as as far as I know. I mean, it affects everything from like. Uh, just the normal price of like how much your coffee is going to be to, you know, someday when we choose to be homeowners to uh, insurance to, I mean, it pretty much is ubiquitous in how it affects everything. I'm not very economically literate, so I can't tell you like numbers or crazy things like that, but I know that it's not without notice. It's really important, especially for college students, because fi financially we're dependent, a lot of them are dependent on the government and for them to be so un it's going to have a huge effect on us, not only the future, but even our kids and our kids' kids. So it's really important that they're understanding what's, what the problem is, because if they don't, then it's going to be a never-ending cycle of debt. As we see rising interest rates, what that means is we're paying more money on the debt that we already have. So what that means is the government now has to decide, are we going to raise taxes? Are we going to spend more money? Are we going to spend less money? Are we going to borrow more? more money, or are we gonna be fiscally responsible? And to me, the idea of being fiscally responsible is out of all of that, the easiest and most logical decision to make. And what fiscal responsibility really is, at its core, is prioritizing what we spend money on and making sure that when we create a budget, we follow that budget and we don't spend outside of that. Fiscal responsibility is one of the best ways to fix the issue of an excessive national debt, because if we don't, it's a giant bubble that's just gonna continue growing.